Hey folks, Sean the Average Anger coming at you with some more of my must-have slash favorites for the year, time of year that is ahead of us. It is late February. We are all, no matter where in the country, going to be start heading to spring here in the next couple months. Sorry for you, those up north, that's going to take, I don't know, April, May, uh, until you guys can get out on the water to start fishing. But uh, for the rest of us, from probably mid-country down, we're going to be looking at pre-spawn here in the next couple of weeks. Some places already are. Florida, Texas maybe. Uh, we'll see how the elites goes next week. But we're talking about some of my must-have baits, some of my favorites. And uh, yeah, so today we're going to do reaction baits. Cheers, folks. Now, when the water's still a little colder, we're going to cover this one first just because we're kind of at that time right now. This bait can be phenomenal, okay? Uh, something about the Rapala DT series. Okay, this is a DT8. I have a bunch of sixes on the wall behind me. I go all the way up to the 16s. I should get some 20s because, quite honestly, I don't know how many times I wanted them and haven't had them with me. This is a great bait. Early season when the water's still cold, fish just seem to love the DT series crankbaits. The DT6, you can throw it on spinning or casting. Obviously lighter line. The DT8, you gain a little bit of weight. I don't know if it tells you. I don't see the weight of the bait on the packaging. But I'm going to say it's probably somewhere around 3 eighths of an ounce. So not the best casting bait, but it is one of the best cold water baits. Yeah. All of these baits are going to kind of go along with the cold water theme, sort of. Uh, the next one is my rattle baits. And I call them rattle baits because I, I don't just throw the LV500. Okay, these are LV500s in a couple different colors, a couple different models. But I also like, let's see, is this a Strike King? Ow, it's got sharp hooks. I think that's a Strike King, if somebody knows. Please correct me or verify. Uh, another one I really like, that's the Six Cents. And these are all spring colors I'm, I'm pulling out of the box that I, I like for springtime. And folks, I've got a lot of rattle baits. I'm sure a lot of you do. It's, and they're not just good for spring. They're, they're good year round at a lot of places. And this is the problem with my mess. And I believe now this one, really good bait. This is a Excalibur. I don't think they're made anymore. Well, yes and no. I believe Booyah is making these. Then the other, I use a couple other brands. Some of these are uh, like special editions. This one here is some sort of special edition. It says US Trail on it. Oh, there's on the bottom. TD Vibration, okay, Daiwa makes rattle baits and they have a ton of different ones. I love TD vibrations. They they 
I have so many different ones though. They have a lot of different sounds, a lot of special editions. This is a different edition LV than the Ozuri. This one is called the Hardcore. I don't know if they're still available. A little more muted sound, but they do have rattles. And you'll notice that some of these are big, right? I like the bigger size. There's a reason for that. It's because they work. I don't know what brand this one is. There's no labeling on it at all. Nobody wants to take credit for it. But I'm going to say that's a three-quarter to seven-ounce bait, okay? The rattles don't move around a whole lot. They're in there. There are rattles, different type of sound, uh, but it's more muted because it sound, feels like the chamber is smaller. Okay, just to show you, here's another TD vibration. I think this might be a zillion or a Steez version. Yep, this is a dial with Steez. A little different sound, again. And what you'll tend to find is that lakes have sound patterns that they like. This is another Daiwa TD vibration. This one is called Brass. This is TD vibration Brass. So a little different. Most of the TD vibration stuffs I get, folks, I got to get them off of eBay. Uh, there's plenty available, but you'll find that when you get on a bite where that's the one they want, that's the one they want. They're phenomenal. And then the other one, the Spro Aruku Shad. Phenomenal bait. This one falls like this. So they're really good for yo-yoing. Supposedly they stand up on the bottom. I haven't do dove in to verify that, but I believe they do. That's what they claim. Ow. I just found a sharp hook. Again, vibration baits, rattle baits, whatever you want to call them. There's probably close to a hundred in here. There, there's a lot. I probably need to weed it down a little bit, use this as my travel box, use a smaller box to, uh, to put in the boat when I'm fishing. I don't think I need that many. All right, next. This is gonna come as no surprise to anybody. The Jackhammer Chatterbait from now through forever, the chatterbait will play. This is a green pumpkin with red. This is a green pumpkin with purple. This is not a Z-Man. So I'm not gonna show you the joint. This is actually one I made. Again, another one of those. Another one of the green pumpkin. Red, fire craw, whatever they call it. And then the other color I'll throw a lot this time of year is, of course, the black and blue. Okay? Shad patterns more around summertime into fall. And I've got a lot of different black and blues here. This is... Um, these are from a company that was notified by Z-Man to quit making them because the blades hooked directly to the head. And these work phenomenal. Uh, this is a cheaper version of a Z-Man. The nice thing about these is these skirts slide off. You can buy skirts and you can just change them on the go. 
So if you want to change up colors rather than retying, you just pull the skirt and change it. Or if you don't have money to buy a lot of these all at once, you can buy a couple and then just buy some skirts. The skirts are pretty reasonable. I think they're like five bucks for three. Another one of those off brands, but connected directly to the head. I just believe that my experience is that the baits that are connected directly to the head just work better. You put a split ring in there and it, it seems like the bait wants to rise. Uh, they seem to track a lot better uh, if they're level when retrieving. And you will see what I think about these right there. Chatterbaits, it's my money box. The reason it's the money box is I have another box uh, of some really good chatterbaits but they're more for practice and then on game day I'll use those and thus they really get keyed into something that's different about those ones that are less expensive. This bait is a little bit more situational this time of year, but it's a square bill. These are my favorite overall, and that's honestly because I fish Clear Lake a lot Lucky Craft 2.5s, very reasonable. All these have the hooks changed, folks. You don't need to, but I do. Uh, if they're in this box, they've all been changed. This one you can see has a red in the front, a EWG in the back. But these are very reasonable. They're like $6.99 at Bass Pro Shops, maybe $7.99 now. I think they're they're Takus, Taco, T, the T, T O, Lucky Craft. Square bills. Uh, there's another one. Again, I pretty much have all the different colors because I just like them that much. And then, you know, I can fish them year round. That one actually has the factory hooks on it. There's nothing wrong with them. They're a little heavier gauge. The rear one's been changed to an EWG. The front one, it must have been changed, but it doesn't look like the one I normally put on. Um, but they have some really good looking baits. Really good color patterns. I mean, it pretty much covers the gamut. Then the white with black splatter, the red line down the side. All right, so this one, yeah, it might not be quite as, well, it just depends where you're at. I mean, but this will fish straight through the spawn, into the post spawn and into summer, um, depending on your body of water. So those are some of my favorites. Uh, moving baits, if you will, pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn, post can't go wrong with those. If I had to choose, I would say get you a chatterbait. That's kind of a must-have, very universal. You can fish it on the bottom, you can hop it, you can drag it, you can, you can burn it, and then get yourself some sort of rattle bait. Uh, between the two, you can cover a ton of water, and they just flat out catch big fish. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. We'll see you again soon.